How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV, and today we're watching the next episode of Legend of Korra. We're watching episode 5 of The Spirit of Competition. Uh, we are in between a couple things right now. We're in between the pro bending, which I'm assuming The Spirit of Competition probably includes, um, but we're also in between a little fight against the Equalists who are growing every, every day. I mean, like, they're attempting to train as many people as possible that they can get under their wing. Uh, with the chi blockers trying to get them used to the pressure point attacks, um, used to the quick movements, get used to all that, that way they can fight vendors as best as they can. We now have this political thing going on between uh, Tarlog, who's a uh, new guy that is on this council with um, a couple other vendors, including Tenzin, uh, not not the best dude. He's trying to kind of bribe Korra, and then he successfully just pushed her into a corner and made her do it. Um, and, and it's not good because she's already terrified of Amon. And as we saw at the end of the episode, she kind of got captured, jumped, and was told, "Hey, I can I can tear you apart whenever I want." But Amon is a man of action. He's a man of plans. He knows what he's doing. And, and right now, the plan is not to take her down because. It would just mean death for him, probably, and death for the organization. So they need to uh, they need to find another way. They need to find a way to take him down too. Well, with that being said, let's hop in the episode and see what they're gonna do. That's good. She's actually practicing now, which is good, because she hasn't been for a little while. As we know, ooh, she's he's still got one off. They all knock each other all off. <laughs> That's awesome. That's true. It's it, it she, that's what she did in the first place. Forget the fucking task force. Ugh. What are they doing? Why are they why are they being weird? Um, it's our first match of the tournament. <laughs> I know the three of us haven't been a team oh. long, but even so. Hey Asami, good morning, sweetie. Bro, they are just a straight up couple now. Oh, oh. Yeah, they're a little corny about it though. Yo, she's always looking fresh. <laughs> we'll see you when we see you guys. All right, bye. Ooh, I gotta head back to the airport. <laughs> see ya. Oh, fall in. Now it's just one lonely guy in the gym by himself. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta get him in there. Get dunked on. Oh, Babu. <laughs> leave some ladies for the rest of us. Bro, he said leave some ladies for the rest of us. What are you talking about? I don't, 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 it don't like get up on Cora now, jeez. You said she was great two seconds ago. Yeah, Cora's a great athlete, an avatar and stuff, but I don't know if she's really girlfriend material. I would understand she's that. A Bro, you're she's nice. a pal, she's a homie. And I are perfect for each other. I, no, I don't know, Bullet. I'm Mark to date a teammate. That is true. He's got a good point. And your priority straight, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. priority straight, let's fight some people, let's fire some ferrets. Hey, yo, what the fuck is that? How's it going with the what is that? Boy. He's been spending a lot of time oh, she's gonna oh, yeah. break the news. Oh, girl's flash stepping over here. Oh, man. I'm not interested in girls. Way to. Way to not make it obvious. Ooh, I just read his entire country. Dude, I love Game of Thrones. It was so romantic. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so dumb. No, no, uh, no. Why'd you ask children? You're literally asking two children. Cora, be better. The volcano is starting to make more sense to me now. Situation. With Tenzin. He was in love with someone else before you. Yeah. Oh yeah. So what did you do? Well, for the longest time, I did nothing. Best my love to. And the rest is history. That's crazy. Wow, I'm not doing that. No fucking way. <laughs> no, don't do it. No, don't do it. No, don't do it. Let's keep our head in the game, okay? Let's keep our head in pro bending. Nobody dating nobody. Let's leave Asami alone. Let's let Mako take a dub or five thousand. The Raba Ruse? What the fuck? They're ready to fight. Um, oh, yeah. Ooh. They just immediately. Do, 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 do. 
obviously had her nose to the grindstone in the gym. She's been working out. She's been on that grind. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Everybody's moving her back. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh, nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bro, the movement is so fucking clean with them. Oh, I love them. Oh, damn. Just took that to the face. They need a knockout to win, though? What is... What does that mean? Again, I still think it's a little unclear, but... I think they need to get all three of them off for them to be, uh... To be good. Wow. They got them. Easy clap. How many tournaments... Or how many matches for the tournament? I was thinking we should spend some time together. Oh my god, not now, Cora. Not right now. Come on, please. Family members are fighting cheap lockers. I don't know. Asami and I are... Look, I really like you, and I think we were meant for each other. Cora. Ah, uh, Bro, that's... Yeah. I feel the same way about Oh, now they feel like shit. You should have not said anything, bro. Hey! <laughs> Babe! Let's go! <laughs> oh, get fucking funny. Oh my god. Nah, yeah. Not right now. Oh! Are we getting... Are we getting an immediate shift? She's like, oh, you know what? I just got rejected. That shit sucks. Let's, let's do it. Might as well. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's crazy. She just fucking reverse right around and said, ah, well, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> Talk about bowling, like, absolutely coming in clutch right in like a hawk. Tano and the wolf bats. Oh, they're, they're fire fire people. Or pro betting people. Oh, what's he gonna do? Uh -oh. Everyone, let's go! Let's go bully these two kids. Nasty dude. She's gonna get. She's gonna get arrested for assault again. Well, well. Uh, the car. <laughs> the. Uh, the like to learn how a real I hate this. I hate this guy. I could give you some private lessons. Bro, punch him in the face. You wanna go toe to toe with me, pretty boy? Yo, beat his ass. I'll give you the first shot. Okay. She's gonna punch him right in the stomach. Oh. Oh, way to make yourself look stupid without her having to do anything. <laughs> you was a bitch, my friend. <laughs> Hell yeah. Love it, Cora. Good job. After getting, like sidelined by Mako so hard, someone actually giving her, like, kind of what she wants and, like, spending time with her truly just being normal. It's probably, like, awesome. I just feel bad for Bolin, because I don't think it's the same for her as it is for him, you know? My poor boy. Brother, I don't want to see his heart get broken. Mako? Mako, get your shit out of your ass. Come on. Yeah, he's literally... Why are you here, bro? Let's not hurt my boy in between in, in, in the middle of this. I'm with Asami. Yeah, but when you're with her, you're thinking about me, aren't you? Ooh. Ooh. That's a crazy line. Start beating each other up. Oh, hey, Marco. Oh, what are you? Oh, what are we doing? What's going on? The porcupine is such a great name. They're, they're fighting like crazy though. They're fighting differently. Ooh. They're gonna bulk it out, yeah. Guys, can't literally doop, doop, stop it. Yeah, they're gonna need to do something. They can't lose. Ooh. Ooh, is it 1 1? 2 2? Oh, come on, Bolin. Bro, Bolin's, Bolin's carrying right now. Come on, Bolin. Keep him moving. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we know who it is. Oh. A tiebreaker match. Okay, so now now I do get that this is a thing. Cool. 
Let's win the coin toss. Oh, the fire ferrets win the coin toss. What do you want to do? I know it's Earth. Bolin taking it in. Bro, what a what a champion. Ooh, let's go. Oh, you can do that? That works? You can do that? Oh, as long as you just get him off, it doesn't really matter, huh? Let's go, Bolin. <laughs> Bolin W's. W. Oh, Bolin's a champion. Yeah, now you guys understand. Okay, no, you don't understand. Get your fuck out of your ass, please. Win a game. Uh -huh. Do we not hurt Bolin here? Because if we hurt Bolin, we're gonna have a bad time. He just put the team on our his back, please. Bro, what did I just fucking say? Uh what did I just say? Fuck. My poor boy. My poor boy is fucking he's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? At least they made me feel better. You're blaming me? You kissed me. You kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you guys did the one thing. Well played, Cora. Oh, uh, no, quite opposite of well played, dog. What the fuck's happening? <laughs> oh, don't hit him. Oh. Papu also lets eat and gets to eat everything. We've got the biggest match of our lives tonight. Cora fucked this all up so bad. Oh my god, she should just left her shit alone. Well, that too. You 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 need to follow your own advice, my brother. Yo, Pablo's looking big. He's a chonker. Now now they're gonna lose this because they're all idiots. Fucking goddamn it, these children. Teams more evenly matched in eight is this oh this isn't them yet this isn't finals they're kind of like speed running these uh this tournament huh ooh, come on ooh, ooh, ooh. oh no yo these guys are getting beat up oh he's gonna throw up he's gonna throw up no bolin his noodles literally <laughs> Bolin loses his noodles come on guys get your head out your A's Ooh. stop turning around you can't see something if your backs to it oh my god that gets two points if they get the knockout Ooh. can we can we call a timeout please can we like call a timeout and figure out what's going on can we yell at each other for like a good minute Ooh. Dude, come on. Come on. Bro, that's a... <laughs> yellow fan. Oh, man. Yeah, what's happening? Also, I didn't know you could hold. I mean, like, duh. Couldn't you just, like, toss him? Yeah. Honestly, you don't deserve to be in the finals. You guys are idiots. Stop, stop paying attention to them. Do something else. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. gonna have to step up. She's the only person that hasn't stepped up this whole time. Damn. Bro, he's her. Everyone's just getting bodied. Damn. Come on. Cora. Bro, Cora's gonna have to, like, hit the Avatar state. Like, right now. Come on. Come on, just stretch it out. Stretch it out. They're gonna come back up, and she's gonna push everybody off. Gonna be all right. Of course we are. We're brothers. Oh. We'll get through this mess. That's my dude. Sorry. Me too. Yeah, say sorry, apologize, keep moving forward. Unbelievable effort here by Cora. She's dodging every element the Bro, Cora's mad. She's like, I'm gonna keep going. Can I start bending everything else, please? Let's go. <laughs> Dubs. <laughs> Oh my god, that's not. That shouldn't be a thing, but okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Perfect lineup, just. Bro needs to stretch really good next time. Let's go get some drinks, though. Oh, man.
It smells like bitch in here. <laughs> this motherfucker, I hate him. Smell something in here? This guy's a loser. Wait. Yeah, I know it. The White Falls Wolf Bets. Great job. Oh, nice, my wife. Come back, Cora. I've never seen a hat trick like that. Yeah. Thanks. Fucking fantastic. Medical attention over here. Literally just perfect. Like, ooh. Ow! Can you she can she heal? Relax, I'm a healer. Oh yeah, she can heal. The best there is. Let's go. Oh, oh. Or she's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, then, time, honestly. I just, you know, we're just friends though. Please. Sorry, baby, I love you though. I enjoy playing. Oh, <laughs> they both enjoy it. That's what. See, they're two alike. They already won. How's it over already? In the finals. Round one knockout. They're not okay. Oh my god. Yeah, they're fine. They'll be fine. <laughs> That's it? Oh shit. Yeah, pretty good episode. I mean, the only thing that I have to say about it, unfortunately, is that it just felt kind of like speed running the, the arc of the of the Fire Ferrets, of the pro bending, while also speed running the emotional consequences of what she did, like trying to go out with, with, um, with Bolin and realizing that like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I do have feelings for Mako. Mako clearly has feelings for Asami, and now we're all getting confused, and I just wanted to hang out with Bolin, and I don't think Bolin saw it as me wanting to hang out with Bolin, because I was like, date, okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it was, it, it, I felt bad for Bolin the whole time, because I knew that he just kind of was clueless about everything else that was going on. He had no idea, really, that, you know, or even remotely had feelings for his brother. He, he didn't know that Mako even had an inkling of like, oh, she's great. But then he did mention it. He's like, oh, for me, I guess, I don't know, maybe. I, I, like he gave him a hint at least, but he couldn't really figure it out because he was also too into like, oh, I wanna, I wanna decor, she's cool. But also it's one of those things where it's like, you have this new thing that's happening and, and like Asami and Mako are kind of like established. He shouldn't even have remotely entertained the idea to be honest. And now it's really weird because she doesn't know this has happened. The fact that they kissed and he's probably not going to say anything is very odd. It's very weird and it, honestly it's not cool. You know, I do think that Bolin and, and Korra are very similar in different ways. I think he's more the goofy side of Korra and Korra is obviously more balanced with goofy, serious, angry, kind of like all over the place, short tempered. And Mako's a much more level headed guy. He has his like priorities in check, except clearly with this new girl added to it. And then obviously so many things riding on him being with Asami, it kind of makes things more complicated. It makes things a lot harder to deal with right off the bat because you don't want to lose your sponsor uh, just because you like the avatar. And also like she is the avatar, duh, you kind of like her because she's cool. I mean, she, can do something that nobody else can or nobody else every you know generation or so so the fact that he was kind of into her is like cool but also at the same time she you know she is special in her own way and in multiple ways so for him to just immediately be attracted to her it makes sense that most people would i would assume because being the avatar is like being a celebrity i mean you you have this well-known I guess persona everybody knows who you are everybody probably could recognize you pretty easily if if you know if they were given a photo or a remote you know description um obviously the city's big and there's a lot of things happening in the city so them not realizing that Korra was the avatar originally makes sense word travels very 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 fast so they all found out pretty quick that it was her anyway i'm very excited to see if they're even going to remotely hold their own against the the white ball bats wolf bats um because clearly they didn't even take any time. I feel like the, the best out of three for a tournament like this shouldn't really be a thing. I think it should be best out of five. I understand that for the sake of the show, they kind of condensed it to one episode, but I would have liked it to kind of drag on a little bit more. But um, I do know that there's a lot of things that are happening in this season because I don't think the, the tournament is going to be a big focal point. Obviously, the equalists are important. We didn't get anything of that. We just got the, uh, the bending. Um, which is always fun to watch, but also like the equalists are a huge problem. So they're still doing their thing. Um, and maybe in the next episode, you know, we just will probably get more of them maybe included with the pro bender or maybe the pro benders on the other team. Maybe they have some type of relationship with the equals, who knows? But let's find out the next episode. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you know every time I post Legend of 
Quora. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So hopefully I will see you guys there. Peace.